This C++ tutorial will teach you how to program. At the beginning I have to say that learning to program is not an easy thing. You need a lot of patience and ambition to do this. Before you can write a code, you have to occupy yourself with the basics. If you want to make a computer to do something you want, you have to describe him everything very detailed. This description is called program. So when you program, you write a description in form of a code. If somebody asks you where he can find the bathroom, and you answer, that it's the second room on the right side on the first floor, the asker understands your answer. So he goes upstairs into the second room on the right side. He consequently finds the bathroom. If you say this to a computer, he won't find the bathroom. The difference between such a description and a program is the grade of accuracy. A human is, with the aid of his common sense, able to complete and understand a bad description. A computer is not able to. To a computer, you have to say exactly that he first has to go to the stairs, then turn through 90 degrees to the right and then to go upstairs step for step. After arriving above, you have to say him that he has to walk 5.2 meters and then to turn through 90 degrees to the right and push the door handle, and so on. At that point, computers are really stupid. In the face of this example, the grammar we have to use to communicate with the computer has to be a very special one and the vocabulary also. Out of this, it develops a real language, a computer language. Such a language is C++. But now to the practical part. Before we can write a code, we first need something, which converts and translates our description into a language the computer is able to understand. This translation is the task of the compiler. I use Windows Visual Studio as compiler. I appeal you now, if you don't have a compiler already, to click on the first link in the video description and to download there the free software, Windows Visual Studio 2008. While you download and install the software, you can pause the video. Now after downloading and installing the compiler software, I will introduce you how to work with it. First you open the compiler with a double click on the desktop icon. After that, you will see this starts it. All this stuff is not interesting until now. We want to write a code. We have to create a new project. Therefore you click at the field, new project, on the left side. Now there is our opened window, there you choose the, Windows 32 field, like I do. Then you give this project a name. I call it, C++ Tutorial 1. After that, you click on the OK button. In the next window you click on the same field like me on the left side. There you put a hook at the same empty field like I do. Finally you click on the complete button, and your first project was created. Now we need a source file. Therefore you click on the bottom add new element. In the window you choose C++ file like I do. Now you also name the file. I call it the same like the project. After that, you simply click on the add button on the right side and we are ready to write a code. Every program begins with the initialization of the command library. This is a note for the computer, where he can take the commands of the program. At the beginning following library is enough. It's called, std underscore, lib underscore facilities dot h. To make the computer understand your commands he needs this library, on his hard disk. Out of this library, the computer takes the commands for your program. Until now the computer is not able to understand the commands of your code. To do this, the library, has to be linked with the computer, so the computer is able to understand the commands of the code. To make this process work like in the example, you have to download the header file from the example on your computer. Therefore, you click on the second link in the video description. After the click following side should be opened. Now you copy the whole text. 
Then you go on the start button on the left side and search for editor. The first search result is the editor. You open it with a click. Now there is an empty text window. There you paste in the text you just copied. At last you simply save the text file in the folder Windows Visual Studio 2008 slash project and name the file std underscore lib underscore facilities dot h. Watch out that you save the file as txt in no case as html file or something other. Now the computer knows the header file we can start writing a code. Therefore, you write the same text line like I do. After a few seconds you will see that there get some files included below. That shows us that the initialization was successful. Next, we go two lines down. There we enter the function int main. Under the function we put a open curly bracket. Now the commands can follow. The first command in this program is our output. This command displays something onto the screen. In our case it's a text. Therefore you write, see out, less than, less than, quotation mark, hello, world, quotation mark, semicolon. The output is always the text, which stands between the two quotation marks. In our case, hello, world. The semicolon in the end signals that the command is over at that point. At last you go down two lines and put there a closed curly bracket. That aborts the function main. So everything between the two curly brackets gets accomplished. When we now debug and run the program, we notice that the black window just flashes up for less than one second. So we cannot even see our output. This is a habit of Windows, which we can dupe quite easy. Therefore, we include rather header fill. It is called comdio.h. Next we just write the command jetch in the last line of the program, but still inside the two curly brackets. This command averts that the window where our program gets accomplished gets directly closed after running the program. This command waits until a key gets pressed. Now it should work. I prefer to make a code analysis before debugging the program. Therefore you click on the field analysis above and then on the field code analysis in my case, C++ Tutorial 1. Now the analysis is started, you can watch the process below in the white field. When there is the same output, I am just marking, the analysis was successful. Now we can debug the program. Therefore we click on the green debug, arrow above. Now we can see our opened black window with the output. Hello, world. Congratulations. You have just written your first own program. It just confirms out of one output, but we are not arrived at the limit for a long time yet.